Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. It's wonderful for you to join us here at Crafters TV. I'm Leanne Chivers and I'm going to be here with you for the next two hours with our absolute hottie Scotty, Craig Laird, for this fantastic craft along. Craig gave us a little sneak peek this morning and wake up call to let us know exactly what he was going to be making and it's a little memory keeper which I'm very, very excited about. So without further ado, let's meet the man, the legend, the myth, the man, Mr Craig Laird and he'll take us through his shopping list of what you're going to need to join us on this craft along today. I will do, uh, absolutely do that, Leanne. Just very briefly as well, this is what we are going to be making. It's going to take the full two hours, plus you will need some additional time after, because the middle, there's a lot of repetitiveness to it, but we'll step you through the whole lot. This initially is so that going into 2023, <laughs> if you want to organise your bills, maybe you can tell the certain shopping channel that I shop on, maybe you want to pop your little receipts in there, but this is about going forwards, getting yourself organised, Maybe you've got bills coming out, you've got to pay the TV, maybe your phone bill, anything like that. What you can do is do little notelets, but inside you can be popping in anything you like, such as the money for the bills or just whatever you like. It's all decorated with the set with flowers. You can simply change it into a little memory book. It is ma made using DL slash slimline envelopes, but I'll verbally explain how you can very, very easily change that if you don't want it to be a money, little money organizer. Now, I did over the weekend give you a little heads up as to what you're going to need. We did share it earlier on, and here we go again. This is, if you want to make exactly what I'm going to be doing, you're going to need your set with flowers. 12 by 12 paper pad, 8 by 8 vellum, the flower form and foam from the collection, the A4 linen, fabulous friend stamp set, delightful rose die, intricate arc die set. You're going to need your classic Baroque die set. You're going to need your floral embellishments and that is your alphabet mini die set. That's from the Gemini mini range. Additional elements, white multi-purpose card, DL slash slimline envelopes, it should say 12 there, quick dry ink pad, which is Bordeaux, tacky glue, call out 3D glue gel, red liner tape that's 12 millimetres in width, you can double up 6 mil if you want, your Gemini die cutting machine, so I've got the junior and the midi, uh, junior and the midi, I'm going to start that one again, junior and the mini, and I'll explain why I'm using both of them throughout the craft along. You're going to need your large scoreboard, then additional items. You're going to need large guillotine, scissors, 8x8 stamping platform or any platform, pokey tool, die brush tool, foam pad, molding ball tool and mat. You're going to need a craft iron, a home iron, a travel iron, up to you, a pencil and of course your Gemini Junior. So that's pretty much everything on the list that you're going to need if you're going to make exactly what I'm going to do, Leanne. Now, Craig, I'm really excited about today. I, the, I mean, that, I think, project looks fabulous. And just before we uh, meet the ladies, I just thought to myself, wouldn't that be a great Christmas shopping organiser? Exactly, yeah. Wouldn't it? For your shopping list, for your receipts, and for, you know, what all of those little bits and bobs that you need. Mm -hmm. I think it would be great for that little recipes in there Absolutely. that you might need for Christmas, whatever it is. I love it. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to make one. But I can't make it now because I'm busy, but you know what I mean. So we're not alone, Craig. We're, we're being not. joined by two of our regular, I wasn't to say faces, but regular names in social comments. Certainly I recognise a lot. And I'm so, so excited to be meeting two of our dedicated followers. And the first one joining us is the absolutely fabulous Rhonda, Rhonda Crawley from <coughs> Chicago. Hello, Rhonda. Hello. Hello. Hello how are you? I'm doing well. Good. And what is the weather like, first of all? I need to know. Uh-oh. Did you lose me? No. You've still got you. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. What's, um, what's it's like? uh, 30 degrees right now and going up to 50. Oh, wow. my word. If only it was that's like fair. Here. That's Fahrenheit. <laughs> oh, Fahrenheit. Okay. All right. I was thinking you meant centigrade. And I was like, oh, my word. We're all coming to in our bikini. We're coming in our bikinis, if that was the case. Um, Rhonda, tell, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself. How long have you been crafting? What's your favourite craft? What do you love about Crafters TV? 
Well, uh, without Crafters TV, I probably wouldn't have survived the last couple of years. That's a wonderful thing to say. Thank you so much. Just, are you, you're tuning in every day with us then, Rhonda? Yes, as much as I can. That's wonderful. So tell me, what's your favorite craft? Oh, gosh, I have too many. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do paper crafting. I make albums. I um, crochet. You I loom knit. I quilt. Oh. <laughs> You're a woman after my own heart. Quilting and crochet are the two things that I love to do a lot of. And I'm just finishing hat, scarf and mittens for my granddaughter, Rhonda. Um, absolutely love it. If I had to nail you down and say, what's your one favourite product for Crafters Companion of all time, what would it be? Oh, the Lily collection. Beautiful, wasn't it? It really was. It, it was really gorgeous, was. gorgeous. Okay, are you all prepared then, Rhonda? You're ready to follow along with our Craig? I'm totally prepared. Great. We're going to meet Christine now and we'll be back with you in a second, Rhonda. No problem. Now, we've got the legend, the myth, the paper pad hoarder, Christine <laughs> Mahoney from upstate New York. <laughs> Hello, how are you? You've got your tree up. Woohoo! Yes, and I don't know why I have a blurry background right now, but I'll figure that out later. Um, yes, my son surprised me and put it up when I came home from doing a painting class. How fabulous. I wish my son would come and surprise me and put mine up. I don't think so. Mind you, he'd, have Wait, to drive, he'd have to drive five hours to do it. I think it's a big ask. Um, same for you, yeah. Christine. Can you tell me how long you've been crafting, what your favourite paper craft is for all of our viewers at home? Well, uh, I think everyone probably can guess it already because uh, they always ask me and it's um, probably the rose gold collection that's my favorite oh. and that really got me starting um, to do do more cards but I I of course started watching um, on HSN and started buying stuff on there for a few years before I actually found you guys so um, coach we had plenty of time Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. And um, tell me, if I had to pin you down and say one Crafters Companion product that's your absolute favourite, your Desert Island product, what would it be? <laughs> um, product or a show? No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> I, um, I love the Geminis and I love the stamping pad and I can't make one decision. <laughs> I love all the paper pads. I love everything you're a girl after my own heart the new thing we make is always my favorite thing and mm -hmm. people will say to me leanne something else was your favorite last week and i mean yeah my new thing is always <laughs> my favorite because it wouldn't be right if we were making something that wasn't going to be our favorite would it christine thank you right. very much for joining us are you ready to follow along with craig i am it's a very intense process it really is, but I think it's going to be very useful. I'm really looking forward to catching in with you. We'll be back yes. with you in a little while, Christine, so right. follow along. Thank you very much for joining us. It's lovely to see your face. I've got a face to a name now, which I'm really pleased about. Uh, see you lovely soon. seeing you soon. Yeah, see you in a minute. Now, just while Rhonda and Christine get themselves ready, if you're interested, um, I just want to remind you about this fantastic deal we've got this big deal of the day on this bag for black friday the daily deal that we've got you're saving 75 percent on this so you've got all of the tools you need for stamping you've got your stamping mat your big rocker block set my absolute favorites you've got your four by four stamping platform and your finesse alcohol proof ink pad they're all of the tools that you get in this bag that are going to make you into a perfect every time stamper. We've then got another 16, 16 sets, not single, sets of stamps in this collection for you. So you've got, first of all, this fabulous layering set of stamps, which has 11 different pieces in it, which gives you this lovely kind of terrarium look with the sentiment in there. We've got the butterfly frame, absolutely gorgeous. And again, 10 pieces in there. You've got this thank you sentiment, which you stamp the back and then you stamp the front. You get that lovely laid design. Thank you so much. 
you get this fabulous set of flowers, which are that lovely kind of very naive, very simple, swirly look to a floral. Great with a little bit of inking and just stamp with your white embossing powder on top. Looks phenomenal. A layering set of stamps, which gives you Santa over the rooftops. Ten pieces in there. And we've got a collage set of stamps with poinsettia, a collage set of stamps with the wreath, and a unicorn layering set of stamps. Ten pieces in all of those. So I'm just going to count the pieces because I'm interested. I'm curious. Like That's what it means a lot to me. 11, 22, 24. Oh, this is where it gets. 33, 43, 43, 51. 60, 70 pieces in those eight sets. And then we've got, I hope my maths was right there. And then you've also got, in addition, you've got these fabulous stamps which will allow you to do really quirky greetings um, on your gift tags, could be bookmarks. And if you haven't got a gift tag, a die or punch at home, just cut a square, chop the corners off at a right angle and you've got a tag. So this is, um, this is exactly what you did not ask for. I love that. This, this, is, this is for you, but I, oh, but I wish... Oh, I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Oh, I do this every time. What am I like? Honestly, I did a Debbie Robinson there. What am I like? What am I like? This is for you, but I wish it was mine. A special gift you never knew you wanted. <laughs> I'm going to send that to everybody this year. Best gift ever. I should know I bought it. I heard presents, said no one ever. At least it's not a gift card. Warning, the contents of this package may be awesome. <laughs> well, it's the thought that counts. You're getting all of those in there too. So there were 70 pieces there. There's eight there. 78 pieces of stamps in there. 16 full sets, including all of those tools for only 31 96 or 45 96 And of course, you've got your platinum prices on the screen as well. You're loving that and that is flying out. So I wanted to give you a little reminder. Okay, Craig, straight over to you, my love. Right, yo, let's do that. What I would say as well, I forgot to say it earlier on, all of us on the team, we do different levels of craft alongs every single week and every single month and that. And I go through peaks and troughs, so mines are quite simple and detailed. Sometimes I'll do a uh, like complicated one, step by step. I do a big detailed one once a year. Last year I done a Christmas cracker full cracker from scratch with the box. This for me is my big one for this year because I want it to be useful for going into next year. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start. First and foremost, step one, thank you very much, Christine, for uh, pointing out something that didn't quite match up. I put them all on my Facebook, so if you print them out and you're following along with me as well, the first step, you're going to take your white multi-purpose cardstock and long ways, you are going to be cutting at 11 and a half by 11 and a half, uh, 11 and a half, sorry. So we're gonna cut that. And then your instructions, if you've printed them out, will say eight inches. It's actually four inches. And what we're gonna do is we're going to cut. Now this is something going right back to the beginning where you can create this money wallet or a memory book from scratch. We do have incredible spine dies within our collection, but sometimes we love to just start from the beginning and create one from scratch. So that was 11 and a half by four inches. I've taken my large <laughs> scoreboard. You can take your score master and then just flip it around because it's not as wide, but we are going to go in with our large one. And then what I'm going to do is I've taken that shorter edge and it's up against the left hand side or box lid side. Not that box and lid matter on this one, just so you know, that's the side that it's at. And I'm going to score. Box lid is the true measurement. The true measurement. Perfect. So always, always, it, when you're not creating a box, mm -hmm. it's always going to go with the left hand side mm -hmm. because it's the true measurement, mm -hmm. as you were saying. So scoring at one inch. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to 10 and a half. And then I'm going to score. Because that one inch at each side, that's going to be my strong tabs that's going to hold the front and back in. And then what I'm going to do, there is our one inch, and then we're going to score at every half an inch. So keeping it very, very simple. So we're going in one and a half, two, two and a half, 
three, we're working our way along. What's going to happen is this going to be concertinaed up. And then if we keep on going, what this is also doing is by doing it at half an inch, this is going to create extra strength. And the reason being is at home, where possible, I would always use my tacky glue. But because we don't have the luxury of a lot of time, I know two hours seems like a lot, but when it comes to the glue, the adhesive for this one, I'm going to use a red liner tape which will be absolutely satisfactory because we're going to have extra strength within these little tabs in the middle, plus we will reinforce the back. So carrying on, still exactly the same. Every half an inch, we're working our way along. And then we're up to 10. That takes us to where we scored the 10 and a half. And then that will give us our lines that we need this is where we're going at concertina. So once again, that was 11 and a half by four inches. Up on the box lid side, we've scored at one inch. I've scored at 10 and a half. And then every half an inch in between, what I've done is I've scored. So then that's going to give us that ability to do the concertina. And then to start with, all that I'm just going to do is fold in on itself to start with. We're working our way along. I'm folding it by hand at first, and I will then come along and give it a burnish. If you have any of our spine dies or memory book, you will completely see where I'm going with this. You will see and you'll understand how this is then going to concertina up into reinforced tabs for what will be your envelopes or, of course, for your memory book layers if that's how you want to use it so all that I'm doing once again is just going in and just concertinaing it so I've worked it all the way along so this is when we're going to concertina so this is going to be my first panel that we can see here so this next one so line one then we're going to go to line two and then line three this is where we're going to start to fold back on itself so I'm going to fold back and then we work our way along. I'm going to do it up above. Can you see where we're starting to get that little panel? We're getting that little tab in the middle. So once again, so it's line one, line two is a valley, and then line three is a mountain, line four is a valley. So I'm going to fold that in on itself here. So as that comes together, up above, I think we can just see how that's starting to come, so that being your first one. And then we're going to repeat each step. So I'm going to go over this again at the end, so don't worry or panic at the moment, but we're going to work our way. And then every, so let me check that one, one, two, three, every third one is going to be a mountain. So let me fold that one in on itself. So if I fold that one in, fold that one in, Hopefully, if I pinch that one. That makes it really clear. And pinch that one. Yeah, and I think when you let it spring open and just stand it up from the counter, so if you let go there, that, I think, really helps everybody see where they're going to go together. And then your glue's going to go down the middle of those V is. shapes, isn't it? It is, yeah. absolutely. Brilliant. So we'll watch you do, we'll watch you fold them, Craig. We've go got so it. many people joining us while you're folding them. Go for it. We've got Betty Weaver from Idaho, Geoffrey Langley from New Hampshire, Teresa de Amico from uh, Long Island, New York. Ooh, I wonder how far away that is from Christine. Oh, we must ask her when we come back. Kathy Myers in Missouri. Les 55 from Washington. Laura Gray from Arkansas. Melanie from Florida. Cara from Devon. Wendy from Oregon. Lee, um, Liz Craft from North Yorkshire. Jerry Johnson from South Maryland. Janet Boyd. Craig Rancourt. Wow. Um, Thea Dippernick. Dipper, oh, uh, Dippernick. Dipper Inc. D deeper ink, deeper ink, Thea Deep Ink. I think that's how oh. I say it, Thea. Uh, she says, hoi hoi, everyone. Hi, hi. Go, 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 Rhonda. She's got a cheerleading squad in. Jennifer Joseph from Florida. Kari Perrion from Michigan. 
Mary Pats with us from Montana, Eleanor Murphy from Shrub Oak, New York, just Crafty Chantel for our first craft along ever. Welcome, Crafty Chantel, you're going to have the best time. Lynn Blackledge, Evelyn Kiefer from Colorado, Melanie D. So great seeing Rhonda and Christine with us. Chivixen, I love that name. That might have to be a handle for me. I might have to share your great Ch name. Chivixen, 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 I love that. From Illinois. Um, Adriana Farias from Texas, um, Chivy Ixon, big clapping hands for Rhonda Crawley, Jennifer Joseph, hello to Rhonda, lovely to put a name to a face, Charlotte Everett, hi Rhonda, so nice to put a face to the name, Adriana, um, Sylv Sparkly, Patricia Ann, Caroline Hanley, Sharon Sweeney, Linda oh. Boher, Teresa de Amico. oh my word, so you're all in, all you're then. all in the house. Um, Craig, and it's wonderful that we've got so many of our regular so names many. and some new names exactly. joining us for the Craft Along. And the good thing with the Craft Along, if it is your first one, then these stay on our YouTube. So yes, you can watch Craft Along live, but you can then come back time and time again and get your hands on it. So here, this is now how it's starting to look. So we can Great. see now that we've got our, our valley and then we've got our mountains. Yes. So what we're going to do, where we've got the mountains, where we've got the Vs, basically, mm -hmm. all the way along, that's where we're going to pop our adhesive on one side. Yes. This is where, Leanne, at home with all the time in the world, I would use our tacky glue. Yeah, and peg it. And peg it, absolutely. As I was saying at the start, a red liner tape, it will work for this because we're going to reinforce it. And as you can see there, that will be two layers of 300 GSM together sandwiched with the envelope and layers with a lovely backing at the back it's going lovely. to reinforce nice it nice and firm so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to come along and then on the back of one of these little panels what i'm going to do is jump across so we're going to go and cut every second one so we can see our one inch we've got half an inch then we've got a red liner. So we're going to jump to. We're then going to add a red liner tape. We're going to jump to. And we're going to add a red liner tape. And then we're going to jump to. And add our red liner tape. And then we're going to jump to. And add a red liner tape. And this is a really good starter if this is something that you want to look to start doing, making your own memory book from absolute scratch, because this will be four inch in height. But if you wanted it to be six inch, Leanne, six and a half, six and a quarter, or eight inches, you, you just extend it. I you love that idea. Absolutely. You could be making your own eight by eight scrapbook albums. That's doing the this, thing. Craig. That's fantastic. Now, you're going to stick the, stick the red liner to the next piece to all the, the next way along, piece. aren't you? That's it. All I'm going to do, each piece red liner, mm -hmm. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to sandwich it together. Lovely. And at that point, that's when I like to do an additional burnish just to really reinforce okay. those layers. So while you're taking your red liner tape off and sticking them together, Craig, so everyone can follow along at home, I'm just going to... Of course you because can. We've got lots of people joining us for the craft along, but lots of you actually shopping as well. So um, I just want to tell you, because you are loving this Say It With Flowers collection, I just want to take you very quickly through the big deal that we've got today, should that be something you're interested in. So you can see the price on the screen, um, and don't forget your extra discounts that we've got today are if you spend... Um, 50, you get an extra 5%. If you spend 100, an extra 10. 150, you get 15. 200, you get an extra 20%. And that would be applicable to the deal that you can see on the screen, regardless of the level you're on. So you would still take that amount off if you're on your platinum price. And of course, you take it off in the white box if you're a brand new customer. This massive collection that you can see here has everything you can see that I'm about to show you. It has the most exquisite, huge, sentiment frames with dearest friend just for you and happy birthday we've also got that beautiful floral edgeable so you can see that die that cuts on the edge of a card or you can cut out to make a panel we've got this fabulous stamp and die um, set which creates those beautiful peony roses for you we've got our 3d floral dies which we use with the form or with card whichever you prefer so you've got the uh, chrysanthemum 
the delightful rose and the beautiful peony. You've also got a lovely sentiment set in here. You've got this rectangle um, floral lace frame. You've also got a doily lace frame. You've got a half doily. You've got a 3D embossing folder with stencils. You've got your, gosh, I mean, it just keeps going on forever. Keeps going, You've got this it? beautiful 8x8 eight eight vellum pad with all of these beautiful vellums inside. The white paper behind so you can see the beautiful design shine through. How glorious are those? So you've got all of those in vellum. Um, then we've got our linen card in those beautiful colours you can see there. Work with the papers and the pad very well. And if I just put the vellums actually beside that, you can see how the colours absolutely work a treat. You've also got your foam for your foam flowers in here. You've got your 6 by 6 paper pad. And if I hold the colours up against the 6 by 6 6 by 6 paper pad, you can see how beautifully they match. And then we've got the 12 by 12 paper pad in here. Absolutely glorious designs. You're getting all of this for that price. You're not having to choose. Some of the designs in here are absolutely... And we need to, we're going to ask Christine how many of these she's bought. <laughs> we need to know. Give me a hand signal, Christine. Fingers, how many have you bought? Ten? She's bought ten. Yeah, we thought we, we, we I would have guessed ten. It really is absolutely beautiful. We've then got the box set to make the crepe paper flowers, which are those beautiful big statement blooms. I'm sure our Craig will be able to show us one, or I'll go over and grab one yeah. um, in, in a second and show you. So you've got the stencil to make the carnation, to make the peony, to make the uh, sorry the garden rose and the dahlia. I'll get the actual flowers and show you what they look like. And in there, you also get all of the crepe paper, 12 of the polystyrene balls, your stems and your floral tape. You also get, what's the, oh my word, you get that beautiful sentiment frame. Thank you so much, Craig, I really appreciate that. You get that beautiful sentiment frame. Um, nope, they're from a different collection. <gasps> oh, it's so exciting. Are they from this collection? They're gems, and I need to go around the front and have a look. Gems yeah, from and this ribbons. Yeah, from they're this They're from one. this collection. Oh, my yeah. word. You get those as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one of those things that just never stops giving. They're your gems and your ribbons as well. All of that, and those scent, all of that. Honestly, it's such a fabulous collection. Here are the beautiful flowers you can make. So you can see the peony, that beautiful garden rose. The dahlia, which is the orange one, and the carnation, the purple one. So you can make beautiful statement floral sprays or posies with that extra thing in the, with the safe flowers collection. I just think it's exquisite, Craig, don't you? It is absolutely exquisite. It's that different forms of creating flowers in many different ways. I'm not surprised so many people loved it when it launched, and I'm not surprised they're still loving it to this day, because it is a beautiful, gorgeous, and bright Now, we do colour. have, Craig, some smaller bundles. We do, do we indeed, want to do we? those now, or do we want to do those later? I, yeah, I think, well, okay. I cut some of the layers okay. and then once we get in a little bit of a form I can throw back to okay. you because there is some repetitiveness through this one, oh, the max okay. and layers, you so let me know. we can do that Thank and jump you, back Craig. and forwards. So this is the stage that we've got at now that we can see here and this is where you understand that it comes together, it's going to hold your pages or your envelopes in place. As you can see here at this point it's flexible which you can absolutely leave at that if you want to. Because I'm going to use mine as an actual money organiser, I want it to have that extra stability. I want it to have that extra strength at the back. But if you did want to leave it flexible, then you can do no problem at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our next piece of our white stamping card and we're going to bring in with the guillotine here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two pieces. So we're going to cut one of them uh, or this one piece anyway, to eight. Oh, hang on, Craig. Yes. Sorry, love. No, it's okay. Patricia Slayton says, uh, Patricia, please accept my profound apologies. Patricia say, sorry, I'm very sorry, Patricia. She says, Craig, would you show the step used when you pull off the tape? Leanne started talking and I did not see that step. 
Okie doke, yeah, of course Would I you could. mind just sticking a bit of red tape to a piece of card, Craig? Absolutely. And just showing Patricia, is that okay? Of course it is. I want to do that is. for you, Patricia. What I'll do is let's bring in the a piece of cardstock here and I'll just quickly do a few scores. Just the start, as if it was the start yeah, of you, our book here. So I'll just do one more so we can get that concertina going. So let's move that in. So let me just start to form these the way I showed you at the start. For me personally, I just find it easier to start to fold in on itself and then you start to get creative with the D7 layers. So let's get this one going again. So we're starting into there. So it's that one, that one, and then that one, and then that one. So on this one here, you can see there's where the first tab is. Yes. So this is where you're going to go in with your adhesive. And only on one side, you don't need to do it on both. Although, without wanting to contradict myself, Leanne, if I was using tacky glue, I would give a little swir swirl, 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 on both sides. I want to add that new Scottish word to my vocabulary, swirl. Swirl. Yeah. Good one. I like it. Johnny always has me saying it anyway, <laughs> always. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm going to peel that off. Yeah. And because you fold it and you've scored it and you've concertina it, it naturally folds in on itself. In the perfect place. In the perfect place. Nice. So give it a little rub with your fingers. Heat and adhesive are a perfect match. So just get that little bit, just lukewarm with your fingers and then give it a really nice burnish. And then that's where you're going to get First tab. Yes. You do that with each one, and that is Thank how you're you, going Craig. to get with that form That there. was for you, Patricia, and I'm sure many other people were thinking the same thing. So thank you. I appreciate it. No problem whatsoever. And that's a good thing with the craft alongs and being so social as well that you can just ask. Yeah. A couple of questions Carol Ann Handley's asked us, Craig. Um, she's got a question of seeing Sarah using hot glue to make the crepe paper flowers from the collection. Can we use other glues or is the hot glue the best? I'm just not a fan of hot glue, but might be able to try it. Um, I've used tacky glue. Have you? I have used tacky glue. If you're wanting that quick result, then of course, yeah, a hot glue gun's going to get that. I completely understand that because you're molding your shape and crepe around, for instance, the ball. Uh, if you're in no rush, which you probably won't be if you're enjoying that process, going around the stencil and cutting and forming your tacky glue. Always remember, certainly with collal tacky glue, uh, the, the less you use, the better the grab, the better the adhesive. Yes. So, you know, go over. If you're fine with your fingers, just give it a little bit of a roll round and just coat it nicely and then just shape it round. You will just maybe need to put a little bit of pressure, hold something in place, but tacky glue will work and I have tried it with the tacky glue. Thank you, Craig. My pleasure. So let's go in with our cardstock. So white multi-purpose. So we're going to go in. So we're going to go eight and three quarters. The reason I'm going eight and three quarters is because that's going to be the length of my envelope. I'm sorry. Do you know what? Everybody at home is so inspired. I feel like I'm interrupting you constantly, it's but okay. I'm really sorry. I'm going to ask you this one question. I'm, not, I'm going to leave no, you alone okay. for a little while, Craig, because I must be driving everybody at home insane. Not at all. However, Paul Pettison on YouTube is desperate to ask you this question. Uh -huh. What is the name of the die set Craig debuted that had a stacked plate ornament? It was a bauble, a tree, and one other. I think it's our 3D ornaments. It's a 3D ornament, isn't it's it? It's Paul. It's the 3D ornaments. They'll be on the website. And if you fill up your basket, get yourself up to 50 quid because you'll get another 5% there. I'm not going to say anything else. No, it's Craig. okay. No problem. Over to no, you, Lou. Just shout. Just shout. So, yeah, in case you wonder, well, why have you come to eight and three quarters? That's because that's going to be the length of my envelope because this is going to be the front and the back. So then I'm going to turn that around and we're also we're going to cut at four inches because that's going to match the height of our book. So I'm going to bring in this next one and we're going to do the same. So we're going to have two panels that are eight and three quarters by four inches. And we can then move that one to the side. Then to support and add strength to that back panel, as I was explaining a moment ago, what I'm then going to do, another piece of our multi-purpose card, I'm going to cut four inches and then three and three quarters, because that is going to be 
the measurement for the back of your spine. So that's what's going to strengthen it. Let me just double check that. Yep, that's right enough. So we've got the back of our spine and then we've got our front and the back. So I'm just going to go over that again for anyone that needs to know. So that's two panels that are eight and three quarters by four inches. And that's what's going to be the front and the back of our memory book that we can see here. And that's why these panels I've done specifically at an inch. It's all about adding strength, Leanne, to the, mm. the structure of your book. So much more difficult if you've got a tiny little flap there. It is, isn't mm -hmm. it? It is. And I'll be completely honest, when I was working this one out, my initial one was just half an inch as well. Mm. And I realised that, no, we need that extra need strength. And if you wanted to, it could be one and a half, it could be mm -hmm. two. Have a play with the measurements. You've got these as a guide and then you, by all means, go in with different sizes if you want. Have a play, it's what it's all about. And then what we're going to do at this point here, we're going to do, we're going to cut it but we're going to do it at the end because this is something you can always do afterwards. And this is where our guillotine comes in like an absolute dream. What I'm going to do here is thinking about the detail into the middle, I'm going to go in and we're even going to cover little panels. Nice. These may be bits that you'll do afterwards, but I really want to show you how to form it, decorate it, and these little bits and pieces, you can then of course come along and then do it your heart's content. So what I'm going to need for these ones here is I'm going to cut that one two, three and three quarters. So three and three quarters. And then another little tip when it comes to the guillotine. We need quarter of an inch strips. Now, of course, trying to get a quarter of an inch yeah. as a visual guide at the side. So what to do? is bring that up to the nearest quarter of an inch that you can get. So we're at eight and a quarter. Mm -hmm. So move it down to eight inches. There's your quarter of an inch. Well, you little tinker. Move it down quarter of an inch. Craig, There's I've got an admission one. to make. What's that? I've been struggling trying to line that up underneath the grill. For, really? Yeah. Yeah. Use it in the opposite I mean, way. honestly, I've learned today. If, it, if that's the best top tip I've learned of the year for me. Using the guillotine to... Uh, and you know so how much I love the guillotine? Yeah, you do. That's genius, Snap. Craig. So, yeah. When it comes to layers and panels, you've heard me say on, on Crafters TV, use it all. Use that metal strip underneath as a guide. Use the finger... Uh, uh, finger guard as a guide but sometimes even if you're just needing little slithers you just can't always get that right measurement flip it on itself and start to cut downwards so that you get the right strip. when you say you know you think oh well of course of course why but why didn't i think it's sometimes the most obvious that it is isn't it such a revelation isn't it yeah i love that Craig. and although you've got the finger guard and that there it's sometimes it's hard to get it accurate so that's how you're going to do the strips. So, Craig, we've got a question yeah. from Den. I think it's quite a fundamental one that everybody yeah. will be asking. I'm sorry, Craig. Den Hughes on YouTube. Hi, Den. Can I just check if these instructions are different to the ones I printed? 8.75 times 4.5. Is this now 8.75 times 4? It is, yeah. yeah. That, is. Should, that should be up on, the, uh, on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. I updated it and I reshared it earlier on, so it should be updated. Okay, once so the new it. measurement is, is. 8.75 by 4. Absolutely. There we go, Den. Yeah. Thank you, Craig. You're very, very welcome. So I think what we can do is, once again, we'll just go over that last bit there. So that is your white layer, so it's 8.75 by 4 inches. That's two of them. Then we've got our 3.75 by 4 inches. And then seven of these little strips that are 3.75 by your little Lovely. 0 0.25 by doing the actual uh, little tip when nice. it comes to the guillotine. This next bit is about forming it together. So I don't know, Leanne, if you want to take a little break, let anyone catch up with these little layers. Absolutely. Let's have a look at the different bundles because if you don't want, thank you, Craig, if you don't want the huge bundle that we've got for you there with everything in, then you just want to cherry pick 
um, a couple of the elements. We've got some pictures of some different bundles for you. So this is the Showstopper collection you can see here. Um, and you're getting 15% off. And you can see in there you've got... Um, Oh, you've got the flowers, you've got the six by six pad, you've got the patterned paper, you've got the flower form in there, you've got your card in there, you've got your vellum in there. What are the three things at the top? The, is that your flower dies? Are they the, f yeah. Right, so they're the form flower dies yes, that go that with are. it as well, which is the uh, peony, the rose and, uh, there's an, I'm gonna, the chrysanthemum. Yeah. There we go. There's the chrysanthemum in there as well. Um, okay, so that's everything you're getting in that uh, showstopper bundle. And then the next bundle we've got for you is our paper card and vellum. So this is for the paper card and vellum um, addicts out there. So you've got your 12 by 12 pad, your 6 by 6, your 8 by 8 vellum and your linen card stock for £45 or 36 if you're a platinum member. And the next bundle we've got for you is the flower making kit. If you love your flower making, um, then this is going to be for you. So you've got your templates, which do your chrysanthemum, your peony, your garden rose and your dahlia. And then you've also got the box, which has all of the... Um, the crepe paper, the wires, the paper tape, and the little polystyrene balls. And for £19 or £15.20 if you are a Platinum mm -hmm. member, I do think that that is a very good bundle, especially if you want to have a go at making those big 3D blooms. The next little bundle we've got for you is our foam flower collection. So you've got your foam in there. And you've got the three sets of dies, which will make those three different florals for you in that form. And that is only £35 or $28 today. They're your smaller little bundles that we've got. Craig, um, we're just going to have a look at a little video. Yeah. And then we'll be straight back to you. Perfect. Sounds good If to you're me. wondering about how you get to be in this mystical club inspire that we all talk about and if you want to be a platinum member here's a video to tell you how welcome to club inspire the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20 percent of your first order will also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Hi everyone, a huge warm welcome to our absolutely massive Black Friday event here at Crafters Companion. Now this year we are really pushing the boat out to push prices back even further and you can shop up to 70% off all of your crafting favourites and make the most of some unmissable one-off deals. Now join us right up until Sunday the 27th of November to make the most of some genuinely incredible offers across a huge range of paper craft, colouring and sewing supplies. Now, with a new Black Friday deal landing every single day, you really won't want to miss out. Now, that's not all, because if you're a Club Inspire member, you can land even more crafty savings, because we've got an amazing spend and save offer. It's simple. The more you spend, the bigger the discount. So, if you spend 50, you are going to save 5%. Spend 100, save 10%. Then when you spend 150, we'll throw in a 15% discount. And if you spend 200, you'll get a whopping 20% off. Now, if you're not a Club Inspire yet, what are you waiting for? This is the perfect time to sign up. 
Now, if you can't tell, I'm a little bit excited by our Black Friday event, and that's because we've got so much lined up for you over on Crafters TV. Now, I'm going to be bringing stacks of amazing offers to the studio on Wednesday the 23rd for our Black Friday special show. To yours truly. Then we've got a humongous Black Friday UK warehouse clearance on Thursday the 24th, and on the day itself, Friday the 25th, get ready, because Leanne is going to be hosting a three-hour marathon Black Friday cartload special. Now, all of our Black Friday offers are for a limited time only, and once they're gone, they are gone. So make sure you check out the Crafters Companion website and tune into Crafters TV every single day to avoid missing out. Isn't it exciting? We can hardly wait. We've got so many great things happening through this Black Friday event. And of course, over in the US, you've got your Thanksgiving, haven't you, on the 24th on Thursday. Um, so wishing you all a wonderful holiday celebration as well to our friends on the other side of the water. Now, we've got this great little bundle of glues here for you. Um, should you be in the market for stocking up some of your consumables with a 15% saving, you're getting one of our dotty tape pens, a bottle of Kalal all-purpose glue, a reel of our red liner, a reel of our, I don't know, it's it. Don't worry, because I don't know. Right, foam yeah. on, on a roll. And then we've also got our fine tip glue applicators, which you've seen our Craig using. You're getting all of those for £16 or £12.80. Um, Christine and Rhonda, they're singing foam on a roll for us thank you ladies luckily we can't hear you right now um not one of the finest hours here at ctv maybe um anyway craig so get that that's a little bundle for you should you wish it but let's catch up with our craig and see what we're doing next right at this point this is where you're going to go ah i see how it's all come together now and then we can do the decorating so if we go back to our spine on the two panels here that are your one inch we're going to go back again with our red liner tape and we're going to add this one on if you don't have your 12 mil red liner tape you can do your 6 mil a couple of times or do your 3 mil a number of times that's up to you craig i just gotta ask you clem clem barker wants to know how many green strips did you cut seven seven clem seven green strips seven seven that's from len len goodman strictly come dancing or you're dancing with the stars over yeah. there in the US. Len Goodman used to never always say the number seven if he scored someone seven. Seven. Wait, seven. Didn't he? Seven strips. It was <laughs> indeed. So there we go. We've got a red liner tape on now. So we're just going to go in and we're going to take these ones off. I would highly recommend just do one side at a time. Mm -hmm. It's uber, uber sticky. That's why it's red liner tape. But of course, if you do the other, you sticks to your hand or stick somewhere else you don't want to spend all that time making your spine and then potentially you damage the opposite side and then all that i'm going to do this is where my glass mat i'll use my glass mat as a helping aid mm -hmm. all that i'm going to do is i'm just going to match that up to any part of my glass mat as long as i've got one of these straight lines and then what i'm going to do is where that end spine is i'm just going to match that one up so I'm just going to go in, making sure that's nice and straight. Lovely. I'm going to press. I think people forget to use their glass exactly, mat for yeah. things. I think it's just for cutting on. It's for so much more, isn't so it? So much more. Use As I said to the guillotine, have a look. See how it can give you that extra hand, that extra helping aid wherever you need it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that one again. So taking that one off, take any of the lines whichever ones you find easy. I'm going to pop that into place, run that along corresponding line, press that one in, give it a lovely rub, and then we've then got up how a money wallet is going to come together that we can see here. Oh, what that's about the glorious. Joins? Wouldn't that be great as a scrapbook album? Exactly. Well, what I'm going to do is although I'm using envelopes, when we come to do that part, I'll explain how you can absolutely use your cardstock. So we're going to do that one. 
So let's take that one and then we can set that one to the side. That is the basis of your money wallet. So then what we can do, I'm going to go in with our guillotine now. So we're going to do our mats and layers. I'm going to go with the green. You can change the colour if you want. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut two pieces to eight. Uh, we're going to do three and three quarters by eight and a half. And the reason we've gone with those measurements is because if I bring that one in, you know by now that gives me my perfect mat and layer all the way around that you can see here. We're going to do the same oh, again. Do you know, nothing gives me more pleasure than a precise evenly bordered, straight edged, yes. non donkey's back leg, mat and layer. And that's exactly what our guillotine gives you. There are few you. things in this world as satisfying as that. Mm -hmm. Isn't it just going in with our layer there? I mean, look at just that's just, look at Perfect. it's just a, it's a feast for it the is. eyes. But what it does is it also helps frame your pages as well, yes. your front and your back. Yes. So that is the two that we've done there. So once again, that was eight and a half. I'm just double checking that. Eight and a half by three and three quarters. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I'm going to use this beautiful thing like this pinky red. Oh, lovely. Love that one. So guess you've guessed it. We're coming down a quarter of an inch. So therefore, within this one, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to cut at three and a half, which is... Isn't good. that large guillotine brilliant for 12 by 12 papers? It's perfect. Even for small cuts, Leanna, I use this large one all the time. Yeah, it's my favourite. All the time. Because you can do tiny as well as big on it, so it, you, know, you can do everything on it. You can. You really, really can. And this is where, when anyone says, Craig, how do you do your mats and layers? When it's coming with quarter of an inch increments, it's always the guillotine. A flip and flop between our mat and layer dies and then additional uh, die cuts. What I do is I go in with my um, large guillotine. Yes, lovely. So I just need to chop one little bit off. So that's two panels now that are three and a half mm -hmm. by eight and a quarter. Lovely. So if I pop that one in, that oh, gives us glorious. And notice I've gone the pink against the green Lovely. because the green is within this design as well. It works really well, perfectly coordinates. And then as you can see here, that's going to sit nicely on the front. So let me move that one out of the way just now. So put that one out of the way. And what's good with these sizes is it's maximizing your cardstock your papers, you've not got a lot of waste. So what I try to work out is even like these bits here, you're going to be able to use them with your die cuts later on. So if you're die cutting pieces, your foliage, anything like that, you're going to be able to use. So that is your front ones. We're going to do that once more, but we're going to go in with this deep color, wine color, Bordeaux color. I'm going to go in with my guillotine Susie, our social media superstar, yes. Craig, has also said, she says, the large guillotine is a must-have, exclamation marks. Uh, I've been cutting like Michelle too, lining up at the bottom and cutting, still cuts perfectly top to bottom. Yeah. It just depends what makes sense to you. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's what makes sense to you. I cut at the top. I do. But I know that a lot of people do cut at the bottom, which is why when we develop the guillotine, we put the measurements top and bottom so you could, do, you could take your pick. see. What works for you. And a straight edge. So some guillotines will have like a wonky designer edge at the bottom so it looks pretty, whereas I wanted it to be pristine, top and bottom. Cut. Top and so bottom. So you could decide, do I like to cut from the bottom or do I like to cut from the top? That's and then right. it's up to you. You it's choose. entirely up to you. Completely yeah. up to you. You're in that control. Now, these two here are the same measurements as our green, because we're going to do that on the inside. So if you do need to know, that was eight and a half by three and three quarters. And then you've guessed it. I'm going to go in with this lovely mustard, but I'm going to go on the not too bold side. So once again, that was three and a half. So 
So let's cut that one three and a half. And then we're going to come around to eight and a quarter. Three and a half by eight and a quarter. I'm going to move all these out the way. Out the way. Try and get as tidy as I can as we're going. Because what we can do is we can do the front and back. Yeah. I'll show you the envelope and then it's that fun bit of getting decorative with oh, the dyes and the fl exciting. flowers. Then the fun starts. The fun starts. So let's go in with this one. And then what I'm going to do, Leanne, is let's show you. So green and pink is going to go on the front that we can see here. And then on the inside, we're going to do that wine and mustard on the inside. And notice as well, two colours, they still work well together. Yeah. Sometimes you think, you know, you would think they would work well together. Sometimes you might get a colour combination that you might not think, but because obviously yourself and your team, you spend the time making sure that they work. So you don't need to think about it. If you want to go rogue with all different colours yeah. for the collection, you can. it's going to work. And then once again, just to enable it to have extra strength, I'm going to mat and layer these with my, um, I'm going to use my tacky glue within this one here. You can use your all purpose if you want to. I am just a fan of the tacky glue. And then we can get on to that next bit of the envelope. And so do you stick your scrapbook papers onto the card with tacky glue? I do, yeah. Oh, wow. I do. I, it's not something I used to do until I came across our tacky glue. Because mm -hmm. I know it's not always something you would think of. I know usually you would think of your coated cardstock or maybe you're kind of like your matte card, you would go with your all-purpose glue. But I do kind of go against the grain, so to mm -hmm. speak. For me, it works. I, th I do think the combination of the tacky glue, the quality of the cardstock, you get no buckling, mm -hmm. you get no shrivelness, you get absolutely nothing. I wouldn't do it all. I can't say it would work for other products, mm -hmm. Our cardstock, our pattern papers, I never, ever, ever have ever had an issue. And really? that's all I ta uh, call cool. our tacky glue. Great. So I'm going to come in here. So we're just going to mat and layer these ones up, front and back. And then, as I say, we'll do that envelope. So I think that's one that many are uh, looking forward to seeing how you're going to line that envelope with the yeah. vellum. So that's all that I'm going to do. Pop that one on, into place, add that in, extra little bit of wiggle time. So we can set that one there, set that one there. I'm going to have to top up my tacky glue just shortly. Yeah, and if, if at home you don't have the tacky glue, the all-purpose would do the same job for you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If anything, the all-purpose would probably give you that extra strength mm -hmm. because it dries so rock hard but again no shriveling no, no. buckling no nothing like like that no it is a good one so let's go in i'm just going to fill up my okay while you're filling up craig i've got a couple of questions go for um, it. so you do that and i'll answer these questions we've had bubbles and squeak has uh, sent us a question to say Le please leanne and craig what is seam binding ribbon it's this so I'm going to show you. So seam binding ribbon is, um, it looks like, this is in the Wisteria collection. So it looks like silk or satin. And we can't call it silk or satin because it isn't silk, uh, not satin, it isn't silk or taffeta. But it has that, fee, that look, that luxurious pure silk look to it. And traditionally in the past, it would have been used to bind seams in sides of ah. jackets so you would have like done your seam for stitching instead of having the raw seam you would have put a little bit round either side stitched it in place and encased all of your seams and it would have been done with this silk like okay. ribbon um so that's what seam binding ribbon is that's for you bubbles and squeak um tess on youtube says i ordered a glass mat from the warehouse sale i'm excited to get it yes we're excited for you tess um gilmore Hello, Leanne, Craig, Susie, CC team and Crafty Peeps. That's Jamie and Charlotte today. Um, another frozen but sunny day in Michigan, 28 Fahrenheit or minus 2 degrees C. Ooh. Ooh. Patrice, 
Patricia Payne says she loves the colours you've picked, Craig. Loves Thank them. you. Um, Lorna Fernandez on Facebook says, I've crafted for nearly 50 years and I learned the other day how to get accurate mats and layers using my guillotine. I'm so thankful to Debbie and Craig for it. You're welcome. Yeah, we, we did. We've done a little 10 minute talk on the guillotine. Did you? That's yeah. great because I love my. I've always used a guillotine for Matt and Lee. Leanne, I could do a two, show, two hour show on the guillotine. I could, I could talk to her half a day, Craig. Snap. I absolutely love the guillotine. Um, Alison Lee, I only bought my guillotine in the last couple of months. <gasps> I've always used trimmers. Can't understand why I didn't get one years ago. Matting and layering is so easy. It is. I think trimmers and guillotines have place in your they stash, do. Alison. Um, but for me, my trimmer of choice, because of what you can see now, that matting and layering, guillotine all the way. Guillotine all the way. Over to you, Craig. If you don't have a V-blade paper trimmer, which I know most of you will, if you don't, can I please, please, please highly recommend Violet Studio. We've got a paper trimmer across on our website. It's good for doing your concepts. Uh, you, sometimes you need to cut into the middle. Of course, the guillotine would cut it all the way. V-blade trimmer is... Uh, just a godsend with things like that and let me tell you I've tried many V-blade trimmers over the years and you know Violet Studios by now the quality is sublime so is that V-blade paper trimmer so just something if you were thinking about hmm looking to invest in one then there we go just to go back again on that point of the tacky glue Charlotte can you see that that's the first one that I've done look at that no buckling no bending no nothing whatsoever lovely so there we go. Just wanted you just to see that. And that's between tacky glue as well as the quality of the card and paper. Right, there we go. So I'm going to set that to the side for the moment. So we can mat and layer that one afterwards. Envelopes. DL envelopes, slimline envelopes. Now, if you are not wanting to do a money organiser, maybe you just want to create a scrapbook. All you're going to do, Leanne, is cut your white multi-purpose cardstock mm -hmm. to the exact same size of your envelope, which I've measured it as eight and three quarters. Four. That's it. That's, your, that's Done. it. Easy. That's how Fantastic. you're going to change it. That's how you're going to change it. So what we can then do, and this is again the way that I do it, and this is how incredible. Oh, are you, oh, no, you, I'm no. just. I'm really appreciating how fabulous it is. I was just about to say, isn't that great for like? Saving up for little things. So, for example, if you need to put a little bit of money away for somebody's birthday, mm -hmm. if you want to put a little bit away for the weekend you're going, or if you just want to keep, you could put little treats in there. You could put, you know, every time you've got. And often in the US, you have dollar notes, don't you, where we have yes. pound coins. Um, if you come home and you've got some loose dollar notes, you've got two or three. You could put them in one of the little envelopes, and in a couple of months, you might have fifty, so you can treat yourself to something. Mm -hmm. It'd be really nice to do that as well, wouldn't it? It really would. It really, really would. And there's a couple of uh, ways you can do this if you want to at the moment. So you can either just pop it in, because if you look at that way, you're going to have that little bit at the side. Yeah. It's not going to matter too much. No. But what you can do is if you pop it in this way, you're going to see not only are you going to get that luxurious part on the back of the envelope, it's as if it's tucked in all the way around that we can see here. So what you can either do, and look at that, you're going to have these strips left. These are going to be great for little wraparounds or to die cut with. So even the excess that you've got, you're still going to be able to use it in many ways. You can either go around, take one envelope as a little bit of a scrap and a guide, go around with a pencil and fussy cut. Or you can, if you are quite confident in cutting, you can stick it into place and then you can cut all the way around. That's what I would do. That's what we're going to do just mm. now. And we always get asked, Vellum, how do you adhere it? And I'm on my tacky glue tangent today. You do get vellum glues and that out there. I can promise you that our tacky glue, as long as you use a little amount, promise you, you will not see this through our vellums, even against the back of that white envelope. So what I'm going to do, I'm not worrying about this line at the moment. We can do that in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit. Now, we do have that gum there. I'm ignoring it. I'm just going to go in my tacky glue in my little applique. I don't think I've filled up as much. Let's just go in, give that a tap. And you really, really do just need the tiniest bit. So what I've got all the way around here, 
So I'm just adding just that tiny little bit. So not a lot. Just to also say, just to reiterate just quickly, I've not attached my mats and layers just yet. I'm going to do that just shortly. So they're just there at the side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck this one in. I'm not popping glue in there, Leanne. I'm just leaving that so it's going to Loose. be free flowing. I'm going to nicely settle that in. Yeah. I'm going to press. Now you tell me you can see the call out tacky glue. I can't see. Can I come over? I'm coming can. over, Craig. I need to get up close and personal. Because I can't see it on the screen. <coughs> I'm coming over for a look. Come and have a look. I'm coming over. But now you'll see how tall I am in real life when I haven't got my stage. I mean, it's awful, isn't it? It's awful being short. Not really, it is. I mean, I look all. like a child popped up to see you, but never mind. Craig, you can't see that. Vellum. That's a myth. So I would never have recommended that. Do you know, out that. this whole day, do you know the one bit where I was a bit... It's because I know that you say that. Uh -huh. And I thought, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go against yeah, why not? everything that, that you I would say. say. Mm -hmm. That looks... I think it might be the very small amount you've put, Exactly. That's the key so thing. So less is more. Less is more. Well, Craig, you've proven an old woman wrong. That's all I'm going to say. And that's how I do my vellums, really simply. So Amazing. says a lot for our tacky glue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go around. Now you can, of course, use your large scissors. You know I love my little snippy scissors. We're going to follow that guide of the envelope. So we're just going to follow that one around. If you've drawn around with a pencil first, then cut, then of course this is just going to slot in Michelle Parsons place. isn't happy with you, Craig. Uh oh. Yeah, Michelle Parsons says it almost seems sacrilegious to put glue on that pretty paper and then cover it. I think you when you did your matting and layer and you've got the Oh, the matte and layers. I see, yeah. Michelle thinks it's sacrilegious. Sacrilegious. But it's double sided. Double sided. I know. You've got the best of both, both worlds. Both worlds, I know, Craig. You've That's why we design it like that. Michelle. She's, she's grimacing at you. Ooh. She's doing the teeth. Um, Kate McQueen says, this is fantastic. These would be good for people like me who need to keep expense receipts. Imagine doing a, mm -hmm. an envelope, 12 envelopes. In yeah. How many envelopes have you got in there? Well, it's six and one envelope for two months. January and February, oh, March, April, May, May so June. You could, or you could make yourself two books and two have, books. A re have an envelope a month. Yeah. Put your receipts in, Absolutely. hand over that beautiful book to your accountant, and say, there you go, sort that out. Exactly. <gasps> Can you imagine that? Craig, I love this craft along, Craig. Thank you. And as a little bit of a helping hand, instead of just free flowing by folding it over, let's use our scoreboard again. We're just going to give that an extra little helping hand, and then we're going to fold that one over. And we've got, and, and even if you're not doing the craft oh. along, just do that yourself at home. That little bit of a detail. Fantastic. See here. The little finishing touch, isn't it? That's exactly it. That's exactly it that we can see here. So that is your envelope. And then what we can then do is let's bring in our layers because that's going to sit into the middle. So this is what I was saying that this is obviously your envelope, but if you wanted it to be a memory book um, panel, you're just going to cut your cardstock to the same length that we can see here. So let's take that one out the way. I'm leaving the front part white, of course. Are you? You okay. might want to change it. It's up mm -hmm. to you. You might want to ink it. You might want to add little die cuts. Mm. That's up to you afterwards. I think I'd be adding some paper. Paper as well. well. That's the thing. And you've got that choice. You've got that choice. Because mm. some of you might think it's too, too bright in the form. You've got the beautiful papers. Mm. You've got the beautiful cards. And then you've got that striking white from the mm -hmm. envelope. It's up change to you. Change it. That's yeah. the thing, isn't it? Completely agree, Craig. Um, how are you doing for time? Because I'm just wondering if you've got time to do a, a little side track yeah. for Carrie Perrion on YouTube. Let's she says, it. Leanne, I love my guillotines. Is there a way to tighten the handle? My small one seems to be loosening a bit. And apparently you showed, Susie, social media superstar, says, Craig showed us during a Facebook Live once. Can you show us again? So, be careful with this one. But all that you're going to do, please make sure your handle, it's nice, it's secure, whether you're going to tape it whatever way, go over the back 
and just that little one there. Don't tighten it too much. No. Try not mess about with it too much. Just give it that little, you'll need a, a which my mind's just escaped Spanner. me. Spanner, that's it. One that's going to fit there. Just a tiny, tiny one. millimeter or something, just around, just to tighten it ever so slightly. You want to get to that point that that arm doesn't fall, uh, doesn't uh, come down on you, but that's the one just there. You don't want it so tight that you're having to force Not it at all. No. Not at all. Thank you for that, Craig. You're welcome. So yeah, it was, was a question that had uh, been asked before about that one. Mm. So Thank you. There we go. And that goes to show how much you use it. The more you use it, that action's going to happen. Yes. You just give it that tiny little tight. Thank you. Right, so let's do one last mat and layer for our envelope and then we can get on to decorating it because okay. I cannot believe where the time goes. So let's take my cardstock once again. So I'm going to go in with my green once again, and I'm going to go in. I'm just checking my what I done in that last one. I went in with the pink again here. So going in with our cardstock. So I'm going to do it this way. So we've got our four. Let's check my measurements. We're going to go in four against the envelope four by eight inches so this is where pop it onto the back oh, I was there's a reason I write my measurements out Leanne I should follow them <laughs> I'm the same Craig and uh, we've got all of the short people joining in in the comments Craig Have you? Adriana I'm five foot two inches laugh out loud I'm five foot Adriana Michelle Parsons that's how tall I am as well petite but powerful I'm gonna take that Michelle Carrie Perry and Leanne, I'm vertically challenged as well. I know, it's a club that many of us are in. Tammy on YouTube, I'm four foot ten. Um, I think I, my granddad used uh -huh. to say, um, oh, I forgot what he said. <laughs> because, oh no, because, oh, what was it the first? Because he used to say, Petite, small, but whatever, and then he would say yes, and poison comes in small bottles as well. Oh, oh wow! I, yes, he was a lovely man. I can't remember what it was. It'll come back to me, and I'll shout it out at you like Tourette's at some point during <laughs> the show. I'll remember. I will remember. Thank you, but it was a long time ago. I'm saying thank you because John's brought me a cup of tea. Thank you, John, for the oh, cup of tea. It's bringing what Craig a one as well. Legend. What would we do without John? We oh, we'd be, be lost, lost without him. Just as well, he's nowhere near retirement age. And even then, he's not going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's having a little chunter in the background. He is, isn't he? Yeah. He is indeed. So we've gone in. So the back of our envelope that we can see. Oh, can I just say, sorry, this is important. No, it's okay. If you're wondering over in the US what on earth a spanner is, it's a wrench. It's a wrench, gotcha. I see. Gotcha. Yeah, I forgot about that because, yeah, it's a different one, isn't it? Translating. It's a different one, isn't it? Now, what I am going to do is what I should have done, first of all, is pop that one into our spine so that we're not going to see that working. But I want to take all these little elements so that we've got them ready to go. So let's pop in our middle one. Because the main thing I want to do, Leanne, is I want to get in there and we can create our flower we can get our decoration so we can see what I've done with that envelope you're going to do another five times so we're going to go in so if you remember over the weekend we were having a little chat about it and I um, was going over the bits you would need to do afterwards that's the envelopes so I'm going in once again it is the tacky glue but you can use your all purpose. All of it's giving you the string. And see how the insides come in. And then let's go in. I'm going to do the front as well. So we're going to go in. So I think if it's all right with you, Leanne, yeah. if I do this bit and then I do that bit, and then if we take a little break, yeah. and then that means then I can get all my flower foam and my flower dyes Absolutely. all ready. Of course. And then we can crack We'll have on. a catch up with the ladies, see how Sounds they're doing, if they're ready. good indeed. 
So going into that one. And when do you put the square on the spine, Craig? So we're going to do that, funny enough, yeah, just next when just we come next. back. When yeah. we come back? We'll do that when we come back. Okay, yeah. Craig, thank so, you. So yeah, we'll do, when we come back, we'll do that and then the flowers. Um, I love that's coming together so well. I'm really, really loving how that's looking. I'm pretty excited to make myself one, actually. I think they'd be great handmade Christmas gifts, to be fair. Absolutely. Um, if you're they? gifting those to friends and family, for them to organise their lives, and you could mm -hmm. in the first wallet put a little bit of money in so they can yeah. treat themselves to something or a little gift card, then it's a really nice way of giving that and then something they can use throughout the year. And every time they use it, they're going to think of you. So they're going to, you're going to be forefront well, of their the mind. Thing, yeah. Which I think, you know, I think it's a lovely little gift. Um, so just before we check with the ladies, uh, don't forget we've got this... <coughs> Out of this world deal. Deal, deal. I feel like I might be able to get myself deal. a job as a voiceover artist. I, I don't know. You'd what do good. you think, Craig? I think you would be I good. I don't think so. I don't think they'd want this Geordie accent on, main, on mainstream telly. You've got a 45% saving on this bundle where you've got 72 of our colour blend pencils. You've got this fabulous naturals set. All of the good colours in there for your deep shade with your alcohol markers. You've got your primaries, all of the primary colours you need. You can see them across the bottom of the tin there. And then we've got our essentials. And you can see, I always think that this image isn't representative of the colours in the tin. So I mm -hmm. almost want to go like that. Don't look at that. Look at that. Because you get all of the great colours in there. And you're getting 72 in every single colour. Every one of the 72, a different colour. No repeats. And it's a 45% saving. You can see that price um, on the screen for both our regular and platinum members. It really is a good one. Let's see what the ladies are up to. Christine and Rhonda. Rhonda, I think we're coming to you first. Rhonda, how Hello. are you getting along? Um, I'm doing great. Awesome. Good. Have you got anything to show us yet? <laughs> I, <laughs> I cheated. Did you? Oh, oh, oh wow. you've been racing ahead. Getting you are ahead. a superstar. Look at you. That's looking and great, this Rhonda. Is the bag. Are you enjoying it? Uh, so, yes, totally. I, I, I did a lot of this last night. Okay, Ooh. that's all right. So you got yourself prepared. Yeah. I love the colours that you've used there. Those papers inside look beautiful with the big florals. And I'm not going to do the envelopes. You're not? I have, uh, no, my my inside papers uh, are, are just going to be like pockets. Oh, okay. So just pockets rather than envelopes. So you're not going to do a flat panel. You're going to I didn't have any envelopes. Oh, well, that's fine, but that's good because yep. that shows that you can use your card panels, Craig was saying, or make it into a pocket by layering up two pieces of card. I think that's a great idea. Shows what you can do at home if you don't have the right size envelope as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I didn't have the right size envelope. Okay. So I made the dimensions different. Oh, well, that's fine, too. And do you know what? I love that, Rhonda, because that shows that you can follow the concept that Craig's gone through yeah. today. And you can change the size. You can change the pocket that you put on the pocket. Once you've got that main outer and mechanism in the middle, little concertina bit, you can make everything else personal to what you want to do for the project you're working on. Absolutely. Mm, I love what you've done there. And the Rhonda. other thing is I, I didn't answer your original question which was how long I've been crafting. <laughs> Pretty much all my life. Share. All of your life? Oh, wow. <gasps> I learned to sew when I was five. Okay, so you've been doing it for 21 years then, Rhonda. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Rhonda. That would be 61 years. Oh, my word. Well, do you know what? You, you look 26, Rhonda. We're just going to definitely say that. You look very... I love you. <laughs> we'll come back and see you before the end of the show. We'll go and check in with Christine. Excellent. Hi, Christine. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. Awesome. So far. Oh, look at you. Yes. Fabulous. Be oh, I love The you. thing is, I don't know what I did right. So I did only five things in there. It's not a big. 
Yeah, you can make it, it's yours, you can make it as you want it to be. I'm loving the papers and the colours you've used there, Christine. I think it's looking absolutely gorgeous. That is beautiful, isn't it? I love those blurries and pinks. Yeah. I think they look really lovely. Had you made anything like that before, Christine? No, I've never done this. Before. I have stuff. So <laughs> I have all the general things that you've ever sold, but I haven't done it yet. So Fantastic. this is all by hand. Have you enjoyed doing it? I I do enjoy it. I just wish I had to fix it a few times. So once I get used to it, I'll be fine. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. The first, I always say with something new, the first time to practice, mm -hmm. everything else is a charm. And uh, not to put too much yeah. pressure on yourself. It's looking beautiful. Your choice of papers is absolutely exquisite, Christine. It really is. Thank you. It's but then from the paper pad, really Christine, nice. could we expect anything else? You can't. <laughs> <laughs> I had a question. I must just tell you in the comments earlier, and it was from Michelle on YouTube, and she said, um, how on earth does Christine store all of our paper pads? Does she rent a lock-up unit or does she live in a mansion? No, either. I have a big house, but I, I have an art room, yeah. and I teach painting classes in there. And so then my painting class, my my, all my um, shelving units in there are all filled like with shoebox size die cuts, one after the next, after the next, after the next. Like there's like eleven cabinets. <laughs> Um, and then now my painting cabinets are like two. Okay. <laughs> it used to be the other way. I didn't have anything in there, but now, and then all the, um, the paper is on that, um, those shelving units that collapse, the origami ones. Yeah. And, um, but there, it is completely packed now. Oh, so right. I don't know. I may have to convert my dining room, which is the next room over, into part two of my craft room. Do you know, we all start with it. We on our crafting journey, we all start with a shoebox, mm -hmm. and then we take over the next room, the next room, the next room, the next room in the house. It is the crafter's law, Christine. So um, I'm definitely. I mean, honestly, I, I can't buy any more. <laughs> and I, I, there, it's just stuff. I just have wait. I have so much, and I barely opened any of it <laughs> i have so much yeah, we're all the same me and craig we're always on qvc <laughs> shopping for candles and clothes Absolutely. and christmas decorations so but where i do have to say something yes i know that you're part of product development I and you got you do an amazing job and i love you so much um but if you keep making such nice things i will never be able to afford to come visit you in the uk <laughs> Right, look, Christine, just for you, I'll make a handful of duffers. I'll make a handful of bad ones. And then okay, thank you. you. Decide not to do that, and then you can come and visit. How about that? That'd be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Christine, we'll come back. Now it will happen, though. Show. We'll Everything's great. Thank you. Thank you. Craig, are you sorted? I am. All right, then. Let's do that. Let's, um, let's do that spine. Let's finish that spine. So we've got our layer that we've got, three and a half by four. So let's go in with a piece of our green. So we're going to go three and a quarter. Just making sure my card is lined up. Three and a quarter by three and three quarters. That's going to give us our perfect matting layer. And then we're going to come in once again. So double checking that's up. It's three and a quarter. So oh, we're going Craig, to Tourette's shouting at you. Oh, Tourette's. Great things coming to my... Thank you, Tammy, on YouTube. Great things come in small packages. That's what we used to say about me being vertically challenged. Got you. And, and then my granddad used to say, yep, and poison comes in small bottles. And I have heard, now that you've said that, yeah. I have heard that. I he have loved heard me. that before. He did. He was saying it with a smile on his face and a tongue in his cheek. Ah. It's, it's funny when you, you hear old phrases like that, or not, necess not necessarily old, but they take you right back to, oh. well, as I was saying earlier on, it, you, something as simple yes. as a foam pad or that, it reminds me of my gran at Christmas time every yeah. year. Because you know I loved that look when I was really, really young, young really, really younger, really, really young, and um, she's done it every year. I think that's wonderful. A Creative Blessings on YouTube, Craig, says, my mum would love this to keep her coupons in also. I believe I there is some idea. extreme couponing in the US, isn't there? There is extreme couponing in the US. 
And I never realised until I, I mean, I've visited, I've been fortunate enough now because we have an office there to visit a few times. And it's definitely very different to what we have over here. Big time, isn't Massively. it? Massively. I mean, it's, I think we should have it over here. I think, I think we it's should. it's fabulous. I think don't. we should. Yeah. When you get products or coupons where it's the equivalent of getting so many free. We don't have that. We're lucky if we get 10 pence off when you spend yes. £100 or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we, we're very generous here at Crafters TV. We are, aren't uh, we? We've got, I mean, we've got those deals on at the minute, Craig. If spend 50, save 5%. Proud. Spend 100, save 10%. Spend 150, save 15%. Spend 200, save 20% on everything except mm -hmm. the November launches, which I think is phenomenal. Alison Lee on f Facebook, Craig, she says, that is why we all watch CTV for all the hints and tips, etc., that we get. Don't know who it was last week, said they put the Gemini plates, uh, their Gemini on top of their plates when they're finished, thought I'd try that, and now I have flat plates. Thanks, whoever it was. It was on a show that I did, and I really can't remember the name of the person, but it was absolutely genius. Pam Craven says, hello, Leanne and Craig. When I came up to do the craft factor, Leanne, I had to use your step. Really? Pam, you're welcome to use my step any time. I mean, anybody left. One day, I'm going to take a photo of my plinth for you so you yeah, can you see Yeah, you should. I have um, John, the gorgeous John. He built me a plinth. You did, Because I'm yeah. short. I know. Your stage. My stage. Your stage. My to stage perform from on. which I perform. <laughs> um, Melanie D on YouTube says, I am learning so much from Craig's Craft Along and Bless extra happy you. that Leanne is hosting. Oh, thank you, Melanie. That's so kind. That's really kind. Always nice to hear. And that's I think that's the good thing with with the two Debbies and Michelle and uh, Corin and Jan. We all bring something completely different. Absolutely. So not only to a master class or um, any of our Monday makers, but even something like a craft along. Yes. Something completely, completely different. Completely, absolutely. And can I just say for Christine and Rhonda that Carletta Morris, Beth Newb, and Teresa de Amico all say brilliant books. They're absolutely they are, loving they? the colour palettes that you've put together, ladies. Absolutely loving them. Thumbs up from Christine and Kisses Blood um, as well. Beautiful. Beautiful how they're all coming together. It's oh, nice to see. I have to just... <laughs> Christine, I just heard that in my ever so slightly. Christine's just said, we paid them to say it. <laughs> no, you didn't. You did a good job and you deserved it. I have to just say, Fred. Fred on Fred171 on YouTube. What petite women lack in size, they make up for in attitude. I think all of my family and friends would agree with you on that, Do Fred. Do you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Good things come in small packages, absolutely, Jamie. <laughs> and as my yeah. granddad used to say, and poison comes in small bottles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that does. That makes me laugh, that. I like that one. Um, Creative Blessings on YouTube says, we may be small, but we are mighty. I feel it's like vive la revolution, the small people today the small in the people. comments, isn't it? Lots mm -hmm. of small, small crafters. I'm quite... Not my five eight, so I'm not the tallest guy. But you look tall when I stand beside you. I think anyone does, though, don't they? Yeah. Just, do you just know? How, do you know my husband's six foot two? No way, is he? Yes, that's a true story. I had to stand on a milk crate to have our wedding photograph took, so we could be in the same frame. <laughs> wow. That's a true story. Is it really? And everything else could only be took from the waist up, so that he could bend at the knee. <laughs> that's brilliant. Honestly, that's true. And so many of our holidays photos, he thinks it's hilarious. You know if he's doing a selfie? Yeah. I'll, have, I'll share some of my Facebook page for you. You'll get a laugh. If we're doing a selfie, he does it so you can see him. And all you can see is, <gasps> is this little, it's like my fault there, curls up. So there's so many holiday photos where all you can see is Simon, beautiful scenery, gorgeous harbour, oh mountains, gosh. whatever, lovely. And just a little curl bouffant in the bottom in the bottom right hand corner. I, sh I shouldn't laugh, but I'm, go I'm going to. <laughs> I'll share some photos with you. You can all yeah, have a look. Yeah, you should. It's, become, be good to it's see. become a thing now where at least every holiday we have to have two of those um, where you can see Simon, but all you can see is the top of, me, the top yeah. of my head. Top of the head. Yeah. <laughs> so a, a reoccurring comedy theme yeah. with, the, uh, with doing that. Oh, he's a comedian, all right, Craig. Yeah. Patricia Payne says, what a wonderful project to try, Craig. 
Thank you. I fully understand those that are going to do it afterwards, mm -hmm. where they can pause and they can rewind mm -hmm. and um, do it that way, which I get. And one that's one of many good things about the craft mm -hmm. long as well, either doing it live or doing it at your own leisure, or doing it live and then doing another one next week or next month and changing it. Imagine a Christmas one with a mm -hmm. lead up to Christmas, keeping you know your uh, tally of presents and lists. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. You can mix and match it to whatever theme or style or concept that you wish. So what I've done here is I have taken our lar the uh, rose die and I have cut, it is on the, the instructions as well, so we're going to use one of the large, one of the medium, two small and two extra small. And then when it comes to the leaves, I'm going to go in, we're going to cut a couple of these ones in our green linen and this is the cardstock. So when it comes to the flowers, we're mixing textures. So we're going to have some of the foam and some of the linen cardstock. So let me just get that die there. We're going to bring this one in here. So let's just do a couple. And then we're going to form a rose, which for me, this is going to be one of the simplest ways to create a rose because you can shape them, you can distress them, you can do all these different things. But with this one, Leanne, with a simple bit of pressure, you don't actually need to do anything to create the effect that I've done. So let's move them out the way. We're all good to go. So let's move them there now. Travel iron, craft iron, home iron, whichever one it is that you've got at home. So let's get our foam ready. Let's get our sponge mat. I'm going to go in with the largest ball tool. So I'm going to use that one, and then I'm probably going to go in with one of the smallest ones as well. I love that. Um, Terry Lee Tyrrell on Facebook. You're now my new favourite person, Terry Lee Tyrrell on Facebook. I'm going to take this home tonight and tell uh, Mr C. God only lets you grow until you are perfect. Some of us just got there faster. How good is that? How good is that? I really like that. that Terry Lee, I'm going to tell my, my husband that as soon as I get in the house tonight. Thank you. I really like that one. I need to take note of that one as well. Popping that one on, holding it in, and then what I'm going to do with my ball tool, I'm going to flick it over. And then this is where I was saying you don't need to do anything other than I'm just going to press with that large ball yes. tool. So that's all that I'm doing with this rose. There's loads of other techniques that you can do. You'll find on yes. our YouTube. Keep it simple. And that's what I we're like doing with this one. I like to keep it simple with the form flowers, So do I. Craig. I think they look great when you keep it simple. Can I just say, Craig, Mary Pat, and I do think this is important to read this out. Mary Pat says, Craig, thank you for providing written instructions. You're welcome. It's extremely helpful for hearing impaired and physically challenged like myself, and it's deeply appreciated. You're more thank than you, welcome. Craig more than welcome it was no trouble i had them there so with you asking of course no problem whatsoever you can have them even crafting along live i fully fully understand that some people like to have the step by step at the side of them yes so therefore go for it you may have them and use them wherever you like and the good thing is as i always say as well leanne copy them print them adapt them do whatever you want save them to your computer I don't mind. There is a guide to start you off yeah. and adapt it. And like Rhonda did, take the concept and change it to something exactly. you want. Like Rhonda didn't have envelopes at that nope. size at home, so she's changed the dimensions of her album, but followed the concept. And it looks really beautiful. It so does. You can do that, yeah. It really, really does. Top tip from Rhonda. So last one, holding it in, flicking it to the side. Now, of course, you could be using your pokey tool or tweezers, whatever it is that you've got. If you're keeping them simple like this, I find it just as easy using my ball tool. They yeah. will retain that heat ever so slightly, so therefore you can use it. I'm just moving my iron out the way. In case anyone wants to know, that one was on high. I was using it on high. And although I say keeping it simple, all that I am going to do, with what was the largest one, Leanne? Yes. What I am going to do with my largest ball tool, yeah. where it naturally shapes, mm -hmm. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to give it a helping hand, but the opposite direction. Oh, okay. So we've got a bit of a curve oh, to the side. Looks like a rose. It looks like a rose. So we're going to do that with this base one. 
So using my thumb, so holding them together, lightly pull. If you pull too much and it rips, don't worry, don't panic, please still use it because petals aren't perfect in yes, nature. Yes, exactly. If anything, it's going to add. Now that one's already got a little bit of a tear with it. Mm -hmm. I am going to be careful, but I'm going to keep it. Yeah. I'm going to keep it there. Um, flowers are all perfectly imperfect. They are. They absolutely are. This then, it is the base of the flower. It gives you more of that realism. And with our flower forming, we have so much realism yes. in it as it is. Yes. But that just helps to it. Hey, do you know who's in the comments, Craig? Who's in the comments? Christine Coppenrath on Facebook. Christine Coppenrath sends us chocolate from Holland. Oh. Um, Christine knows Sarah's husband, Simon, very well. She used to work with him years ago. So she's good friends with Sarah and Simon. So we know Christine. She's a, good, she's a friend of the crafters family, as she you are, all are. I've been very lucky to meet Christine a couple of times. Um, and Christine says, I love watching my two favourite people. Isn't that lovely? It's Christine, not, we miss you. I hope you're well. Gives me goosebumps when I hear that. Yeah. It's lovely. It's, it's nice because as well you, you don't know not every project is to everyone's taste yeah. so that's how it's nice to not just within craft along during the shows mix yeah. it up and it's, it's nice to hear that I we, agree we have on the team I'm going to say it some of the best followers and supporters at Crafters Companion I'm going to correct you on that I think I know what you're about to say we don't have some of we, yeah. we have the best I think Craig do you yeah. not? Yeah. I know you were being polite, but you know me. Uh, As yeah. we've discovered, I'm five foot. Uh, I'm just going to say it. I think we have the best. I really do. I get that. Yeah. Completely agree. We really, really do. So let's bring in our large, our medium, our two small, and then we've got our two extra small here. Now, we do have other products. We've got stamens and that you could have used. I was trying to limit that in case you didn't have stamens. Once again tacky glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into the centre of that large one. I'm going to offset the medium one using our ball tool. I'm just going to use the small one and I'm really, really pressing down. So that large and that medium, I've gone in and I've shaped it the opposite way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to really press it down, letting that tacky glue soak into the foam. And then I'm going to lift now, straight away, with these two layers there, look at that. Look at that. You can instantly now see how that rose is starting to form. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in. We're going to add another little bit of tacky glue. And if you've never tried a flower form and foam, please don't worry about being light-handed. It is so strong. It's so sturdy. Once it's heat, once it's come back to temperature, You'll have found in previous shows, we've had samples since this very, very first launch and they're still intact. So we're going to go into there. We're going to go in. We're going to add our little dot. We're going to go in and each time we are just going to off-centre it into here. So going in with that last two and then we're going to go in with the tiny, tiny small ones. So if I go in with this one here, so prise it open, and then we're going to go in with the really, really small ones. We're going to add that in. Once again, pressure. Pressure into the middle. And then what we can then do is come in with this last one. Betty Weaver says that rose is stunning. I was really, really chuffed with how it came out. Yeah, it looks beautiful, Craig. Patricia Payne says thank you both for encouraging crafters to use what they have in their craft rooms. You're more than welcome. Absolutely. I mean, we've all got craft rooms with loads of stuff in. Why? We if do. It's the, use what you've got. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And some people might think the only way to assemble your flowers with your flower forming is to use the stamens. Mm -hmm. You might not have stamens. No. Nope. Therefore, you can start to adhere them. Yeah. Uh, without them. Now, you know, it doesn't take out uh, make a doesn't take a genius to work out you will have to complete more steps at home what i will do and i promise you is i will do little videos and upload them as well if you need the additional help in hand the steps are all there we'll show you pictures of how it's going to look the key thing is i'll do one last bit of die cutting and then we can jump back to leanne but look at that one into there oh beautiful craig 
So just by shaping the petals, the Lovely. large and the medium, just in that opposite I love that. direction. And it really does look like a beautiful full bloom, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? It really, really does. So if I come in with this one, let's do one last bit of die cutting so you can see the direction that you need to go in to finish off. We're going to do the intricate arc for Melia, and this one is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to come in. Let's do, we're going, we would be doing it in green and, of course, in our white. Let's do it in the white to start with because it's really going to show it off. I'm going to use them both together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure them so they don't move. You can do this bit separately if you want. But as long as you secure them really, really well, they're not going to jump. And because it's so detailed, I am going to pop in my metal shim. You don't always necessarily have to do that. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time you won't. Being honest with you, it's down to time as well that I'm doing it because yep. it just means it's going to you know it will work. pop out straight away. Yeah. And we're going to run that one through. So the top and the bottom, you'll see from my finished one, you'll just need to chop off so that it's going to be four, three, three and a half inches in height. But if I bring this one in, we're just going to carefully prise that one out. We're going to go in. And I mean, look at that one. Isn't that great? Isn't it's it? magic, that dye brush tool, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It really is. But by going in, and these are like perfect size, Leanne, to keep a hold of for shakers. Yes. And that perfect little waist size. Yeah, lovely. So we've got that one into And you know here. when you took that out, if you didn't know you were going to do that with the dye tool, you might think it hadn't cut. It's yeah. a beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, you're right, aren't you? You really, really are. And that's, I suppose, the thing about playing seeing how it's going to come together. Now, as you can see, it has die cut beautifully. If I bring in the front, so this is where I was saying you're going to trim. So let's layer mm -hmm. that one there. And this is where you would also, let's do this one so you get the guide. And once again, what we'll do, I'm saying I'll do a couple of videos. I have already done a couple of videos for the steps that I knew that we wouldn't get done in the live. Mm -hmm. Thinking ahead, trying to think ahead. So what we're going to do is pop that one in. So if I cut this one, don't need metal shim for this one. And pop that one on. As well as the video, what I've also done, and I've purposely not shared them till after the live, I've taken pictures of every single page oh, up close. Oh, you superstar. So and where will people find them, Craig? So they're going to be on my Facebook. Okay. I'll put them on my Instagram as well but as well as the additional little videos. And they're only minutes long. It's just to show you how we've done the last remaining steps. Thank you. But there's up close photos. So you can see, ah, yeah. Just means, Leanne, you don't have to pause this live and then do screenshot, you can yeah. if you want, but it's going to be up there, up, as they say, up close and personal. Yeah. So that can go into there. So we would do a drop shadow with our green card as well. So same green that Lovely. we've used for the mats and layers. This is where we would then come in with our rose. I would just tuck that to the side. Oh, that's beautiful. Pop it to the right if you want, yeah. add a couple if you want, but by just going in and by mixing your materials, so that's flower forming, these leaf dyes were also from that same flower set, mm -hmm. but what we're doing is we're adding extra texture. Texture by both. Doesn't these. the addition of that little flower make a huge, huge difference? And you know what makes a little difference as well, Leon? Yeah. Popping your leaf, one of the leaves, in between <gasps> the petals. Yes. Adding it in between that petal. Wow. As if the leaf. So it looks is like it's folded round. Popped out. Like it would be in nature. Yeah. Amazing. Absolutely. So you've got that one there. So I'm going to set that one to the side. You just need to in pop that one with your glue. So I'm going to bring that one in. That's going to slot into place. I'm not going to do it because this is the extra video. I'm going to be totally honest with you, Leanne. I probably did um, 
I, uh, what's the word? I probably overestimated yes. the full length of this within the two hours. Yeah, yeah, no, but I think that. But it's such a glorious project, Craig. I think what you've done is given us the most important pieces, which is absolutely construct the spine in the front and back, line the envelope, absolutely have the pieces ready to be able to stick your envelopes on, and then make that beautiful rose. And I do think that they are the bits that are absolutely crucial for this project and i for one am personally very grateful for that i think you know sticking the envelopes on the little bits inside i think we can all manage that so yeah, craig thank you it really is fabulous we're going to have a little catch up with the ladies we've got rhonda rhonda how are you doing i'm doing great good let's see where you've got well i'm starting to put my you're putting your panels inner, inside? inner pieces oh, wow. in lovely Oh, my word. Would you, when you're finished, Rhonda, would you mind emailing it in, some pictures, so we can show everybody? Absolutely. Thank you very much, Rhonda. I really appreciate it. Have you enjoyed the time with us today? I always do. Oh, well, do you know, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here, and I'm so happy to be able to put a face to the name now. When I see you pop up in my comments, I'm going to be really excited because I'll know who you are. Thank you for joining, Rhonda. And, Yay! Um, sorry? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And Christine, how are you doing, Christine? I'm, I, I've done about the insert, so. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look. Oh, Christine, it's beautiful. Look at that. You're storming ahead. So you just need to put your little envelopes or your pieces yeah. of card inside. Papers yeah. are exquisite. Yeah. The front of that album Look at looks that absolutely flower. That's gorgeous. I love it, Christine. Would, when it's finished, would you send some photographs in as well, please, so we can share with everybody? Of, Thank you, of Christine. Course. Have you enjoyed it? I always do. Oh, Aww. I love so you guys. We've loved having you here. It's been wonderful meeting you in person. I'm going to put a request in uh, that I want to do. I want to present more craft. You want to do more? It's such good fun. Thank you very <laughs> much, Christine. It's been lovely seeing you in person. You're I hope welcome. To see you in person you again at some time in the future, especially when I do those five terrible ranges, so that you can get a visit to the UK. <laughs> I've remembered, yes, Christine. Please. I won't let you down. Thank you I won't very let much. you down. <laughs> All right, Christine. Take care. See you later. Oh, how wonderful to have Christine and Rhonda so with us. Nice. Just brilliant. And two legends in our comments. Mm -hmm. They're the real dedicated Crafters Companion fans. So thank you, Christine and Rhonda. Um, I've just got a quick card pack here to show you, uh, which is a really, really good deal where you've got a good amount of our glitter and Centura Pearl card. Um, and you're getting a real goodly amount. And both of our Centura Pearl and our glitter cardstock is great for construction. You're saving 15% on this. You're getting 100 sheets in total, which is fantastic. And all of the card in this pack would be great for doing the construction exercise that our Craig has just been showing you with that wonderful receipt kit. What are you calling it, Craig? I am money organizer. A money organizer with that wonderful money organizer. I want to call it a receipt kit. I yeah, think you're you going to call do. it whatever you want to use it for, aren't you? It's absolutely gorgeous. You could use all of these cardstocks. So you can see we've got that lovely pink glitter, 10 sheets. We've got this lovely kind of frosted blue glitter, 10 sheets. We've got our gold, like Centura Metallic. That's the Centura Pearl gold there. Then you've got your Centura Pearl Silver. You've got your Centura Pearl Dark Chocolate, one of my favourite Centura Pearl colours. We've also got our Rose Gold. And we've got the Platinum. And we've got our Fuchsia. And then we've got this Raspberry Red colour as well. Um, and of course, with Centura Pearl, look at that. It's absolutely incredible. That's what you're going to get with every one of those colours, that high pearlescent sheen. And because it's white on the reverse, fantastic for the construction that Craig has just been uh, showing us with our money wallet organiser there. It's absolutely fabulous. You're getting all of those for £33. They're only £26.40 if you are a Platinum member. Now, I need to remind you about this because you're absolutely loving this. This is our daily deal, our daily Black Friday deal. 
and it's cram -pound packed and apparently everybody who's shopping is putting one in their basket and i don't blame you because for 31.96 you're going to get everything that you see me show you here a stamping mat a pack of rocker blocks a four by four stamping platform a finesse alcohol proof ink pad all of those the tools that you make you into a precision stamper as soon as you get it home so you're getting all of those tools and then we're getting all of the following um, stamps as well and it's not just single stamps it's full sets of stamps so you've got in here your uh, layering stamp with that lovely terrarium in there you've got 11 pieces we've got our layering butterfly collection another 10 pieces We've got our thank you sentiment layering stamp, two in there. We've got the rose flowers, which are super easy to use with a bit of inking. I love those kind of swirly outlines, nine pieces. We've got a layering set of stamps with our Santa over the rooftops. We've got our collage poinsettia there. We've got our collage wreath. And we've got our unicorn layering stamp set. All of those stamp sets come in with what you've got in this bundle. And it's not only that, you've also got my favourite gift tag stamps ever. I just absolutely love these. They are so, so quirky and funny and different. I guarantee you're not going to see anything else like this out there. Plus, you can make as many of them as you would like to. We've got a special gift you never knew you needed, wanted. A special gift you never knew you wanted. We've got, this is exactly what you did not ask for. I'm definitely going to be using that. This is for you, but I wish it was mine. I'm going to be using that too. I hear presents, said no one ever. Best gift ever, I should know I bought it. At least it's not a gift card. Warning, this cont the contents of this package may be awesome. Finally, well, it's the thought that counts. Absolutely fabulous. They're all going in there too. You're getting all 16 sets of stamps, plus the platform, plus the rocker blocks, plus the, plus the ink pad, plus the stamping mat, all in that bag for 31 96 or 25 57 if you're a Platinum member. It truly is a ridiculous and exceptional deal if you haven't tried rocker blocks yet and you've thought about trying them because they are my single favorite thing for stamping get that bag everything else is a bonus it's absolutely incredible now we're going to recap this say it with flowers bundle aren't we craig have you got some samples i do indeed Ooh, let's have a look at the samples and then i'll show you what you get let's have a look at these because these samples are uh, you're able to see what you can be making with this collection here, combining many of the elements. Yes, you can be doing things such as memory books, wallets, as I was showing you. It's a gorgeous one for home decor, but you can still come along and create your concept cards. What about your little tags as well? The different colors that you've got from the bright oranges, the pinks, but then you've also got the greens and the purple. I mean, look at that. What a lovely little fold out memory book that could be. A little photo into the middle there. The vellums are going to complement it exquisitely. Keeping it simple, which you can absolutely do, but then bringing and combining your flower forming, using that your uh, your dies the back is that little tuck in. I mean, look at this one as well. Look at that. That's all of the flower forming foam there, so you can see how strong, how robust that is. I mean, this one here. So if you love to create backgrounds too with your inks, nothing stopping you from incorporating these ones either. You can see into here, let's ruffle them ones up. So a few mats and layers, that little sentiment and the flowers do all the talking. We made this one within wake up call this morning. So going large, going small, going concept, going simple. You can really, really take this collection Go many different avenues. Don't forget you can be doing your paper flowers, your foam flowers, your crepe flowers, you can do your vellum flowers. It really is a say it with flowers collection. It truly is fabulous, isn't it, Craig? It's beautiful. And so I'm going to do a very quick whistle stop reminder of everything you get in this fabulous collection you've got here. And remember, you're already able to take advantage of the extra percent discounts that are available for you. Um, 
with your 5% borrow 50, spend a 10% for 100, 15% for 150, and 20% for a 200 spend. You're going to be saving that already. So if you're in the US, you're saving 20% on the standard price you can see there if you're in the uk you'd be saving 15 percent on the standard price it's absolutely fantastic and of course you can see on your platinum prices too so this collection has in the three most detailed but statement sentiments dearest friend just for you happy birthday you've also got your crepe paper your polystyrene balls your floral tape and your wires in there. We've got all of the templates to make, I'm not gonna go through everyone, but you've got four templates to make the beautiful flowers, to make those, including that gorgeous rose and the carnation. We've got our frame die, which you've seen Craig use. You've got all of your beautiful, 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 beautiful 12 by 12 papers. You've got the same in six by six, your beautiful six by six papers. You've got your linen cardstock, your flower foam, you've got your 8x8 vellums, you've got your beautiful doily dye that Craig used, you've got the frame, you've got the floral frame, your sentiments, your flower forming, um, peony, rose, chrysanthemum. You've got your stamp and die set, which comes in with the collection. It's absolutely beautiful. You've got your edgeable die, and you've got your 3D embossing folder, and you've got your gems and ribbon. It's an absolutely mammoth collection. And I've just got to read out some of these questions because they're so, so appreciated. Um, Maggie says, I love watching CTV. We all love crafting. It's great to meet so many other people who feel the same. You feel you have a new friendship with all these like-minded people, whether you have met them or not. I'm sure the majority have since kept in touch with someone. Thank you, Crafter's Companion. That is the sentiment of many, I think, mm -hmm. Maggie. Thank you. Maureen Isherwood says, this is what I love about CC. They promote enjoying your crafting and, prom and it's not all about spending money, unless it's birthday week, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Betty Craig, you are the best. Bless you. It's like, simply the best. I won't sing. Um, Kate really wants to paper piece that die. Mm -hmm. Lorna, I bought an extra set of these dies for my lovely mum, mainly so she wouldn't borrow mine and forget to bring them back. <laughs> Good strategy. Um, Bubbles and Squeak, how impressive is that cover, Craig? Uh, Craig, you are so talented. Your brain must be massive. That's Bubbles and Squeak. Carrie, thank you, Craig. This is beautiful. We'll f I will follow as a photo album. Bro. Thank you. Um, then we've got oh, uh, b -b 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 question. What weight white card did you use for the base layers, please? So that was uh, 300 GSM. That 300. was our uh, multi-purpose, yeah. 300 GSM multi-purpose, thank you. Christine, please tell Craig thank you so much. Christine Mahoney, uh, thank you thank so you. much. Not sure if you heard me say that. A lot of feedback on our end, but thanks for having me on the show again. Christine, it was our pleasure. Um, so, honest, so oh gosh, there's so, so many, um, so many comments. I can't even begin to say how they are. So, Gilmore, Craig, thank you so much for this detailed craft along. Mm -hmm. Leanne has to do more presenting. Love, love, love yes. you. Mary Pat, fabulous craft along, Craig. Leanne, Susie and team, thanks so much. Thank you to everybody here. Thank you to Susie, Charlotte, mm -hmm. Jamie, Craig for such an absolutely wonderful project. Thank you to Christine and Rhonda for joining us. We've got launch party coming up at 6 p.m. GMT, 1 p.m. Eastern and 10 a.m. Pacific time. We'll have another look at that Wisteria collection. We'll have a few deals for you. We're launching that new silhouette craft mm -hmm. kit, which I can't wait for. Um, and we'll be back in two hours. I've had a glorious time, Craig. I've loved so spending fine. this time with you. Thank you so much. And we'll be back again in two hours, we won't we? We will indeed. Big love to you all. See you in a little while. Toodles.